touching up last Sunday. He said that everything was going good until I asked him how him and his girlfriend were, and he said that they had broken up. I asked him what happened, and he replied with, we didn't know each other too well, and I guess we, fr we found out that we weren't as compatible with each other as we were online. And so this got me to thinking, why was he online trying to date? And um, I did some research on why people try online dating. It could have been a last resort, or maybe he wasn't so lucky where he was. But I'm here to tell you why online dating should not be the preferred choice. We're going to discuss that first, it's the internet, and anything goes on the internet. Second, people are not as responsible with online dating as they would be in regular life, and it's not real the whole time. I did some research after this, and why online dating is not the so we're going to ask ourselves this first, why do we date online? People these days are so ready to have the mindset that they're going to die old and alone if they're not married by the age of like 22. And so they go online and they meet others with the same attitude so they can be happily alone together. When people have trouble finding a date, they start to think that they have no hope and that they're not appealing enough to have a chance with people. People have the option of what they look like online. So the problem with the internet is that you can make yourself look however you want to, but they're not going to see the whole part of you. People know that when they go online, they can find lonely people just like them, but it's not always guaranteed that they're going to be want to be with you. Television and media ads tell us that going online and dating will guarantee you the perfect partner for the rest of your life. When the commercials come on, there's always a promise that somebody will be there to help you to find your match online. You go online and something pops up and the little messenger is ready to help you make your profile and stuff. But it's difficult to try and find somebody that way because they're helping you look presentable so other people will be attracted to you. So it's not really, it's not fully yourself. And as people go online, it gives them the chance to not be themselves also. There are liars and cheaters and fakes and a lot of online dating sites. You'll never know what you end up with. Of course, there are a lot of sincere people who are just looking for somebody to make them happy because they it's not working out for them. And sometimes it does happen, but it's not a guarantee that it'll come the way, it will, the way it's given off to you by the media. Another thing about it being the internet is that you have no idea how long it, you might have to wait for what you're looking for. And there's not just a magic click of a button and you're set up for life. It's a process that you have to go through and then... There's going to be people who you aren't compatible with, but you want to try anyway because maybe something could happen and then you just get hurt anyway. And there's going to, it's going to be a couple of tries before you find you're the perfect person anyway. And you can't always be as happy as you would have been meeting the person without a website. There's no fairy tale story and no real time to get to know each other and there's no initial spark because somebody made it for you, a machine. And the marketers who control these like you to believe that you made some kind of connection, but really you just went through the system and randomly got placed with somebody because you had a few of the same answers. And in my opinion, it's not really the perfect way to get to know somebody. And coming from the fact that it's the internet, people are not always as responsible as they would be in real life. Everyone knows how easy it is to say things and do things on the internet that they don't have to do in person. And this goes back to be people being liars and not who they say they are. Not everybody on dating websites is looking for a long-term relationship. When they meet people online, it's not, let's settle down one day, it's, oh, relationship, I thought you meant hooking up until we get bored. Many people, especially women, complain that they get inappropriately hit on by guys who are looking to go on dates and have a good time. They're not just always looking for a second or a third date. If dates are not meant to hook up, then it's people who are constantly bothering you and not really wanting to get to know you. It's also been seen that people who have little hope in finding someone want to cling on to the first person that they find interest in, and it comes off as a little desperate. People only list the positive aspects that they want in another person, and then the machine, it tells you to do that so that you don't, people don't know the negative effects about you, but people have bad features, that's how life is, and when you meet someone and find out that they have problems too, then they're ready to pack up and leave because they didn't know that in the first place. So whenever you get to know somebody in person, you have an idea of every side of them because you spend real time with them. If you don't find out what they can do and then get hit with what they can't, it comes one step at a time like it should. I know that people have also had success with this and it did work out fast. A couple of months and obviously they belong together forever, so they put a ring on it and live happily ever after. But people don't always stay married. It's been seen that in several countries, divorce rates are becoming higher due to so many people getting married online. There are several reasons why things don't always work out. 
online dating teaches you that you're supposed to change who you are so that you seem appealing to people. And that's why the little person's there to help you seem appealing to people. Online dating is also given a first, as a first resort to a lot of people, and it's also given off as it should be the first resort, but it's definitely not. It should be the very last thing that it comes to. Constantly, people are asking, like, how they can look more appealing. They go, they turn to magazines and media and the <coughs> internet. And so online dating, it generally creates an endless search. And so people, people get really sad when they don't have anyone that flirted with them in the first week of them being on the online internet site, so they get even more depressed than they were. Dating online in general creates an endless search because in the back of your mind, even though you already, if you found somebody, you're always going to think about whether somebody better would have come along if you would have waited and not gone on the internet. And so many people do find that special someone online, though. Some people do take the time to get to know each other, and things run out in the end, but wasn't real the whole time. When you get online and you see if you have any messages, it's like an alternate life. You go on and you check your messages, and then once you're off, you go and you live your other life, which is regular in the real world, and then whenever you get back on, you message them, and things are okay. And you might end up meeting that person one day, or you might not, but... You, it's not supposed to be just a couple weeks of just cute conversation and then you separate and go your own way. It's supposed to be real love. And so try to remember these things as you get older and enter the real world. We've discussed the consequences and risks of dating online and looking at the main key points. It's the internet. People are not always going to be responsible and it won't be real the whole time. You need sustainable love. And so... It has been psychologically proven that people need to interact using present issues and personal, and you need to get face-to-face. -face. And my friend, he did find somebody, and he has a fiancé now, and she ended up going to high school with him, so it, will, it worked out.